Um, oh, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Exposing. Today, we read for the collective. Hey, collective flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell uh, to book a private reading with me or shop in my store. All of the information is in the description box below, okay? A lot of you guys may ask, where can I book? Where can I book? You're going to have to so in the um, in the description of the video, just click the little arrow down and you're going to see everything there, okay? Um, channel message. <laughs> First of all, I'm in a phenomenal mood, but that's every day. But today, I don't know something about today. I'm, I'm, I'm just like in an extraordinary, exuberant mood. <laughs> Anywho, channel message, they're fighting over you. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm going to be my best favorite, I swear. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. There's my, like, this girl is too much, too damn goofy, all right? <laughs> visuals here is that um there is a couple that is arguing about you everything has been exposed now depending on where you are you could be the masculine or the feminine take how it resonates here but um the masculine has been um has come up with some new information in regards to you and the information that they have come up come about or stumble upon um it kind of left them like oh shit what did i do they're realizing their faults they're realizing that what they have done towards you or to you or behind your back they realize that they're now starting to regret it so they are confronting this woman or the woman's confronting the man take a high resonates here but someone's confronting someone here what's going on okay the, let's just say the feminine here is saying, well, I this and I that, and I, da, da, da. but the male is not really, they're not checking for the lies. They're trying to check for the truth. And they realize that this feminine or this karmic energy here is a liar, is a complete liar here. So this masculine wants to completely be done with this person, completely like once and for all be done with this person because they're really starting to see the true colors of this person here. Now this car, this masculine is a karmic yeah, they are a karmic, so they we won't place them where they need to be. We won't position them correctly. This is still a karmic, but they are just aware of what was been hidden, or um, yeah, what's been hidden from them, or hidden behind the scenes, away from them because they weren't able to see here. What happened was this feminine. So the the masculine met you, right? They were having some issues within their connection or relationship situation, shit, whatever the fuck you want to call it, right? The woman found out about you, right? So she knew about you. And she went ahead and she did like spell work and stuff like that to make you seem like you were the false person here. How was that possible though? Let me pick sense out of nonsense, right? The woman found out about you. You don't know nothing about the woman, right? You don't know nothing at, at all whatsoever. But the woman was doing, inf doing research and information about you and see that you were, you know, dealing with what you were dealing with. So your career, your business, whatever. So they use... Your business, your 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 brand, you, they used you against this masculine here to persuade this masculine that you are the reason why, um, you know, shit not working out and stuff like that. And that's not the truth. That's what this masculine found out here, a false person. So now they are actually arguing about you. And this masculine is upset, irate, ready to fight, beat the shit out this woman. I'm just gonna put it out there because that's what I feel, and that's what I that's what I saw. I I did some remote viewing. And I was like, oh, that's what you up to? So, cops may have been called to this uh, residence here or this this place here. It, it's it's a lot. It's crazy. It's really crazy here. Because this masculine is realizing that this woman is a complete liar here. S uh, smelly cunt lady, right? The one that don't like to shower herself. Stability is in reverse here. And they're realizing that this so-called dream or foundation that was built, it was completely, it was a sandcastle. Just dump some water on that bitch and watch what happens. That shit gonna fly away. It's gonna go go in the motherfucking ocean. And that's what this person is realizing here. So the woman is still lying, like, oh no, that's not just not true. That's not true. But shit is shit not lining up for you. Shit not adding up for this this karmic feminine here, because shit is falling apart in their life. But stuff not falling apart for you in your life. So this is how this masculine is able to differentiate 
Well, how come stuff not happening in this person's life and stuff is happening in your life? You lost this, you lost that, da da da, you got sick, you this and that, but nothing is happening to the collective here. And that's when this masculine had like an aha moment and they're, they're definitely starting to move very much so. Look, fog, they're moving very differently here. <clears throat> So they see problems in a new light. Um, things are not what they appear. Work through the issues that arise. Problems will be resolved eventually. Now this master wants to come, come towards you or come back towards you here, but there's still a karmic. I need you to keep that in mind. Even though they found out the truth, they are still a karmic, meaning they don't mean you no good. They just found out that you, you know, you've been exonerated. You know, you've been telling the truth. Cool. But there's still a karmic. I need for you to keep that in the back of your mind okay your beautiful mind there's still a karmic so this karmic is going to try to come towards you here um turmoil and chaos emotional stress fallout with family or friends loss destruction so this person fell out with this woman here like i can't believe you would do something like that like you know and this male this masculine this karmic masculine really thought that the woman that they were with was telling the truth well how was that Look, pick sense out of nonsense you hit the third party, which is you collective. You were the third party. The masculine hit the third party, which is you from, from people, from this woman. But the woman still found out about you. And then the woman went ahead and lied about you. You don't know anything about the woman. So how is it that you can lie about somebody that you don't fucking know? Can we pick sense out of nonsense? I'm just saying. Okay? That don't make sense to me. How are you taking... First of all, how are you taking sides? Well, that's another story. You taking sides from from a woman that don't know anything about the third party, right? Or maybe they've been doing any research and stuff like that, and whatever they picked up, this is what, okay, well, I'm going to say this, I'm going to do da 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 And then on the back end of it, because this is more spiritual, this is spiritual warfare, okay? So you, this could be someone that have a spiritual business, um, just spiritual background in general. You could just be very intuitive, whatever the case may be. And they realized they were doing their own research, and they realized that you with the shits, Right? So they had to tarnish your name or they had to tarnish your brand some way, somehow to not make this masculine leave or come towards you. So they set it up in a way where they were doing the spell work, right? They were orchestrating things behind the scene here and they were actually causing chaos and mayhem for this masculine, this masculine with you. The woman is telling the masculine, hey, this person is doing this to you. Ah, da, da, da. And that ain't the fucking truth. That ain't the truth. Because like I said, collective, you ain't losing no money, you ain't losing no sleep, you ain't losing no good eats, you ain't losing not, not enough. You may lose some pounds, I know that's right. But other than that, you're not losing anything else, right? But the karmic is losing everything. So like I said, this is how this mas this karmic masculine is having this aha, like, oh shit, no wait, that don't make sense. But this make more sense to what transpired or what took place here. And this, this masculine is very infuriated with this uh, feminine woman here. This woman that don't like to shower. <laughs> I mean, clear your mind, clear your vision, different perspectives, relax, watch out for conflicts. Yeah, so now this masculine is, like I said, is irate, very upset. And they want to try to come towards you to apologize. Mm -mm. No. Stay there with your smelly cunt lady. Mm -mm. No, stay away from the collective. Stay away from the collective. No, stay away, boo. Yeah, so now they want to come through with some good news and pleasant surprises. They want to they want to settle down with you. Hear that? They want to settle down with you now. After they treated you like shit, they did all kinds of wicked shit to your face, behind your back, sideways, da da da, whatever, right? And now they realizing that they in the wrong. Now they trying to come back and they trying to come back with your good graces here. Somebody, somebody may try to come back in with a, an engagement ring. Man, I don't know about y'all. I'm going to just give y'all some suggestions though. Somebody come back with an engagement ring. I still will say no. Give me the ring though. Pull on that bitch. I mean, it's the least you can do. I mean, you should. Since you put me through unnecessary drama, I'll take the ring. But I'm not going to accept the proposal. Nah, give me the ring though. I'm going to pull on that bitch. I'm hearing they must, they probably bought that ring at a pawn shop too. So this person does a lot of like low, low stuff, like very, they don't have no money. They frequent the pawn shop. They love the pawn shop. So I'm hearing that the ring might be from the pawn shop. Uh-uh, return it. I don't want that. Mm -mm. They have nothing to offer you but just dirty sex. That's it. They have nothing to offer you. They don't even have no compassion. They don't have patience. They have nothing to offer you. 
and they're only trying to come back now because they realize, oh, fuck, I made a big ass mistake. Yeah, you sure did, chief. You sure did make a big ass mistake here. And you realizing your smelly cunt lady is the, is the culprit, is the reason why shit is the way that it is, yeah. You need to go have a conversation with that one. Or furthermore, you shouldn't even have no conversation. You should have a big bucket of cold water, not even hot, because that smelly cunt don't deserve anything hot. That bitch needs something called a big ass bucket of cold water. And you need, to, you need to put bleach or Clorox, not even so. Put bleach or Clorox and just douse her. Too big and stink for somebody your big age. You're too big and stink. And you know, I'm gonna keep saying, I don't care. Learning to accept losses as gains. Being at peace with decisions and mistakes. Understanding life has its ups and downs. So not only is the feminine, the smelly cunt lady, life has turned upside down. Um, the masculine's life has been turned upside down too. They may share a child or children. I'm hearing children. They share children here. Their kids are actually getting sick as well too from backfire spell work. So like I said, do not accept this person from the past because if you open up the door from the past, what is going to happen? I'm going to tell you plain talk, bad manners. I'm going to tell you. If you allow this person to come back into your auric field or your energetic space, you are going to experience what they are experiencing. Do not put yourself in unnecessary situations. Their health is failing. Your health is not failing. Don't put yourself in that. They have no money. You have money. Don't put yourself in that. You are happy and healthy. They do not. Do not put yourself in those predicaments in unnecessary situations. The past is for the past. The past is a past for a reason. You learn all that you can from this person, whether it's positive or negative. Take the, the tools and the information that you have learned from this person and move forward. So now you know what not to do moving forward. We always learn in a positive way or in a negative way. And a lot of people don't like to highlight the negativity in what people do. They only like to highlight the positivity or the positive things or the positive attributes in, 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 in individuals here. But for me, giving you a new perspective or a higher perspective here, I, I love to learn whether it's good or bad. Because like I said, if it's great, cool, great. I could enhance my life with that great information, but you can also enhance your life with negative information. It's called transmutation. The, inf the negative information that you receive, yes, it's negative, but just because it's negative doesn't mean it has to be or stay in that negative situation or that negative state. You can transmute that information into something greater, into something better. So let me give you an example. You a big ass procrastinator. You know your ass need to get up. Get your ass up. You know who's supposed to be doing stuff. Somebody need to be going to the gym and that's me, so I'm gonna put myself in it. Somebody want to start the gym. Go get your ass up and go to the gym. Okay? Give yourself three days. I ain't going to give you a week. Give yourself three days. All right? And pace yourself. And by that third day, once you start getting acclimated, you're just going to take off and you just, you're going to be in the gym. However. Okay? But back to the procrastination. Knowing for a fact that you are a big ass procrastinator, you're very lazy. Right? Ain't no judgment here. I'm just, just giving this as a teaching moment. <clears throat> you know for a fact that being being lazy or procrastinating is not helping you. It's harming you. It's doing, it's doing more harm than good, all right? But now that you are aware of the root issue of cause, meaning your procrastination is the root issue as to why maybe you're not moving forward, you're not succeeding, wherever the case may be, now you can transmute that into something better. All right, I don't want to be in this predicament or this state anymore. I no longer want to procrastinate over my projects, my plans, my day. I no longer want to be lazy. I want to put forth the effort, the action, whatever it is I need to do to see this through. That is transmutation, okay? So just because you may learn something negative or you may receive negative information doesn't mean it has to stay there. It has to stay in a negative state. You can flip that shit around and make it work for you, boo. Nuggets. <coughs> Because even though this person was a complete cunt, a complete asshole, a complete false person, you learned a lot from this person. You sure did. And now you know what not to do moving forward. Or you know what type of individuals to look out for when you start to date again or move whatever, however, however you decide to move forward in life. But now you got the proper tools. Oh, okay, yeah, they did that. But they doing it? Oh, okay, cool. This is what's going to help you to stay out of these situations. It's gonna help you to stay out of this loop, okay? Because a lot of people are in loops. Let me give you an example. Now, the reason why somebody could be in a loop is because 
they did not learn their lesson from the past. So another example of that would be you're in a connection, right? Your past connection dulled you, you know, you, you didn't get the best end of the stick, you know, it wasn't reciprocal, it was very un imbalanced and things like that, right? Cool. You left that person, but you didn't do anything with yourself, you didn't heal, you didn't sit down to take time to see why this was happening the way that it's happening. Of course, it starts with you. Everything starts with you. It's a mirror effect. So what you think or feel within yourself is what's going to portray on the outside, okay? So if you you see that this person didn't treat you well, and you finally decide to leave. But again, you didn't do anything to help yourself, to give yourself some time, right? You just jump into a new connection, new relationship. Different person, but same scenario. This is how people get stuck in loops because we don't take the time to heal. We don't take the time to register the information that is given to us. It's okay to be analytical. It's okay to stop and pause and reflect what has taken place. Okay, yes, this has taken place. Moving forward, would this be ideal for me? This information or this experience that I've experienced, is it ideal for me to, to push this or take this to my next path, my next chapter, my next journey, however you look at it? And if the answer is no, fix it. Y'all gotta see my allergies. <laughs> okay, so that's what's going on with this false person here. They want you to accept them as they are. Okay, but from far away, you a dirty nigga. We see that you ain't shit. You false as fuck. Inf infinite false. You a fraud ass motherfucker to the day you die. You false. Infinite false. So yeah, we see. You ain't gonna change your ways. Cool. But collective, you can change your ways. Just because people don't want to change don't mean that you have to be where they are. You can change whatever it is that you don't like about yourself unapologetically. Fuck what anybody think about you. How do you feel about you? That's the most important thing here. How do you feel about you? Because clearly this person was hiding you they were hiding you from the beginning. The woman, the karmic woman found you out. The karmic woman found you out and felt very threatened by you and started doing spell work. Not only on the connection, thank that cunt. Thank her. Thank you. Not only was she doing work on the connection here, she was lying on you. Don't even know you from a can of paint. Was doing research, looking you up, looking you online, doing everything possible to um, discredit you to tarnish you, to dirty or to smut your name. No, please. Now the tables are turned, that's why I keep telling y'all, do y'all return to sender. You are in the right, you have every, let me, let me just say this to y'all with love, but stern love. I'll be that big sis, that big mom, whatever you wanna call me, whatever. But I'm trying to, my, my, my job here it's to look out for y'all. Make sure y'all got the right tools so that way y'all not going to keep bouncing and bopping and booping and, into these situations here. Because by the time we look, life is not that long, to be honest with you. The life expectancy, hypothetically, I don't know for sure. This is me just, okay? Let's say it's like 75, right? And let's say out of the 75 years that you live, let's say 50 years of that was just complete negative connections, relationships, and stuff like that. You didn't really get to enjoy your life. You didn't really get to do anything because you've just been bombarded with just negativity after negativity after negativity after negativity. That's why I, I, I'm very vocal when it comes to protection. I don't play about my protection. I don't give a fuck who it is. I don't play about my protection. You have every right to protect yourself. Don't let nobody tell you why you protect yourself. What kind of shit is that? You have every right to protect yourself. Never initiate, always finish. Never initiate, but always finish. Don't initiate anything because if you initiate, you are the weak one. The fuck you initiating a fight for? You don't like the person moving around, but yet bullies, tend to initiate fights because they're weak. They don't want you to know that they're weak. That's why they're so aggressive and hostile and all that shit, because they are weak. So they have to show teeth to let you know, oh yeah, they want you to fear them. The fuck you fear them for? They started with you. 
So going back to the return to sender. If you do a return to sender, it's not going to hurt you. It's not going to harm you. It's not going to come back to you. How can you do a return to sender on a return to sender? Let me pick sense out of nonsense. The person that orchestrated the bullshit, the debacle with you, right? They send the bullshit to you first. You send it back. They can't send back their energy to you. That's theirs. Send that bullshit back. Send it the fuck back. Send it back. It's not your energy. Send it back. First line of defense. Protect yourself. Protect your auric fields. Protect your body. Protect your being. Protect your inner G. And if you do decide, you don't have to. It's up to you. Okay? It's no right or wrong way to do it here. If you do decide to do your return and send it, do your protection first, then do your return and send it, and boom, go about your day. Ain't nothing going to fall back on you. Oh, my God, I'm, sure, I'm scared. What is, what's going to blow back? You're protecting yourself. All you're doing is literally sending their bullshit back to them. That's all you're doing. That's all you're doing, boo. And by you returning their bullshit back to them, they're now trapped in their own Bullshit, their mirror. Remember, it's a mirror effect. So they're trapped in their own mirror. In prison, failures, hardships, betrayal, bitterness, misfortune, bad luck. Why are you allowing someone that is experiencing being trapped, being imprisoned, having failures, having um, monstrosity of hardships, betrayal, bitterness? Why are you letting someone that treated you like shit from the past to return back from the past into your nail? Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself. They didn't see your work the first time around. You think they're going to see it now? They're not. Because what they're going to do is if you allow yourself to open up that door to allow them to come back in, they're just going to fuck you over. But ten times worse. Don't do that to yourself, collective. You deserve so much more. Well, how can I get more? How can I do better? Work on you first. You have to learn how to acknowledge the flaws within you. We all have flaws, even me. And especially in relationships here, you collective, yes, you are also responsible just as this, this karmic person as well. You are responsible for how they treat you in the connection. Yes, and I know that may trigger somebody, but that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to trigger you. Trigger you so you can see, oh, you know what, yeah, mm, let me change it. So, yeah, right? You are also responsible while you're in a connection or a relationship here responsible to the point where do you have boundaries set have you established boundaries if someone keep coming into your space and you like stop and they just keep doing it over and over and over well what are you going to do are you going to continue to allow them to do that to you over and over and over or are you going to put down your foot and be like bitch i said stop and you're going to walk away move away whatever it is that you need to do remember you collective are in control of you nobody else nobody else you are in control of you not your mom, not your dad, not your pets, not your kids, not your love. You are in control of you. Only you. So you are responsible for the decisions that you make. Yes. But sometimes we do make decisions that's not the best for us. And it's not the end of the world if you make a bad decision. I don't need you to beat yourself. Oh my God, what was me? Stop. Because self-sabotage and self-victim talk don't exist over here. We're not into that over here. We're into uplifting you so you can see the errors of your way. You, you know what? I don't like that. But I can change it. Right? And you change it and now you have a different outcome or a better outcome. Okay? They're going to be fighting over you to, to, to one of them. Not one. Mm. <laughs> I did. Stop playing with me. They about to die, child. I didn't mean to say it like that. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say it like that. But the return spell work is what I mean by that. They're getting ready to pass away. This is karmic woman and karmic masculine getting ready to pass away from all this fucking spell work, backfire spell work that they have. They hear bad relationship with others, disappointments, anxiety, booing, jealousy. Yeah. So the more that they fight, the more that the Grim Reapers just keep inching and creeping up. So I'm like, y'all, you ready to go? You ready? Come on, let's go. You ain't got no revoke. They done sealed their own fate. <laughs> they sealed their own fate. All right, I heard stop right there. I done gave y'all a certain. We got Aquarius and second house. Oops, second house. And 
We got Gemini in the third house and Jupiter. We got the 11th house in Cancer and Uranus. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, so we got Cancer. You can be dealing with the Cancer and Aries. Uh, Capricorn. Oh, Capricorn. <laughs> A Leo. Aries. Three more. Aquarius. Okay. Taurus. Hey, y'all see them lights? Taurus, you see all that little strobe light, many of them. All right. So yeah, so if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Till next time. <laughs>